Hello, I have recently been asked to provide a lecture about the basics of static var compensations, or SVC. In order to make the case, I build a very simple single phase model of a power grid where we have a source, we have an impedance, then we have a line, a power line, and we have a variable load. If I run a simulation of this simple case, you can see that if the load is very low, so the resistance is very high at the load side, the voltage at the load side is higher than the voltage at the source side, so the voltage is too high. And if I increase now the load, that means I decrease the resistance, you can see that the voltage is now too low. In order to reduce the over voltage, I would have to add a reactor in parallel to the load. We can now simulate the case, we can close the switch to the reactor and tune the reactor so that we compensate this over voltage so that the voltage at the load side is exactly nominal. If I increase my load side, you see that the voltage is decreasing, so I have a too low voltage and in order to mitigate the under voltage I disconnect first the reactor. If I further increase my load, I come into an under voltage situation and then I have to compensate the under voltage by means of a capacitor. Now if I connect the capacitor you can see that the under voltage is compensated. If, however, you have a frequently variable load, that would mean that you have to switch on and off capacitor and reactors all the time, and that would very quickly deteriorate the, the switching devices. This is where the SVC comes in, which is a much more flexible solution. Here we have now an SVC. So, as before, I have a capacitor in order to compensate for the under voltage if the load is too high. And the reactor is not anymore switched in by a breaker, but it is switched in and out by means of thyristors. And now look at the effect. Let's assume that I decrease now my load, then you would immediately get an overvoltage, and the overvoltage would have to be mitigated by the reactor. And instead of having a mechanical switch, I switch in now the reactor by means of thyristors, and you can see now how the thyristors start to increase the current through the reactor and that is kind of destroying the effect of the capacitor. You can also see that the load voltage has now a lot of harmonics because of the thyristor switching and the harmonics would have to be mitigated by means of filters. In order to mitigate the effect of the harmonics I have added now a filter for the third and the fifth harmonics. You may have, you may need to add additional uh, filters and you can see how the voltage at the load has been smoothed out now by the filters. You can see now that I can control the voltage at the load by varying the switching angles of the thyristors. So I can either reduce or increase the voltage at the load depending on the magnitude of the load. As usual, I recommend to go to this link there. You can access the simulator. You can click on the link below the YouTube video. It's learning by doing. I would love to see you there. Bye-bye.